Okay, now, the more I think about this, the more angry I get. Um, I have probably 300 songs. Uh, most of them are my pure recording with no loops, but um, as a person that makes videos, a lot of times I'm in a hurry, and uh, since, you know, I have access to Apple loops, I've incorporated them in some of my work, and that was the case with uh, just throwing up uh, some music in this uh, non-monetized uh, video. What bothers me is I do professional work, and um, I think the lesson is not to use Apple loops in anything, but the thing that bothers me is, you know, one of the pieces that was identified is this piece, and the drums are, of course, standard Apple drums. I have a bass line that's an Apple loop, but the other bass line, which I use for the rhythm and uh, part of the melody line, is mine, and then I have a synthesizer part that I wrote in here. And so, if I just play this track, it doesn't sound like much, but it kind of carries the whole... published this um, using it in a YouTube video about a year ago and I, I don't know what they have and what they're claiming copyright on it but I created it there's the proof I can show you the loops that uh, I recorded from it's my own playing <laughs> so uh, I don't get it you know somebody that recognizes a, a in one of the drummers that's available in GarageBand, and then a bass line claims it's their uh, copyrighted material. I think that's just total bull, bull dinky. So anyway, that's one of the things that uh, bothers me. And that one got flagged. And then um, this one got flagged in the video. And again, I want to show you my parts and what I did here. <laughs> for any bass awards but the drums are mine they fell on my bass line um, I have re-recorded the chords up here and yeah there are Apple loops in it but uh, those are available to all Apple end users for their own use and for somebody to claim that they own this uh, especially when I can show that you know I created it it's uh, not making me very happy so that's one uh, you know, that has a lot of my own bass line, rhythm, um, and this was revoiced, uh, you know, I'll play this for you. It doesn't sound like much. But I'm trying in a lot of my music to have that kind of a throaty background voicing, so you can hear that's not the normal synthesizer part that's included in that and again so um claiming copyright on my work just irritates me uh to the nth degree now in fairness the the synth this synth part that synth part they're all apple but uh, again you know they're available for anybody that uses garage band and uh, to have a copyright violation for somebody that's um for the other guy that's too lazy in his commercial use it to do anything other than use garage band loops, give me a break. This was put together to use as a soundtrack uh, background music without having to worry about copyright crap. Anyway, so that's one. And then um, I was in a hurry for a car show that I went to and I was trying to get a video up and I needed music. Now this is all Apple loops, but there I can show where I created the music. <laughs> choice of what loops play out of all the loops that are available um, you know I've whittled it down to what I wanted to use and the timing and everything else and again 
it's in the Apple statement, which I'm going to read, saying that as a you know end user of GarageBand, I can do anything I want with these, including my own commercial work. But um, this one, I kind of see that, well, maybe it sounds like his, but hell, I didn't copy his work. Why, why do that when it's so easy to create something uh, on the fly for, you know, when you need soundtrack music? So anyway, the bottom line is um, I, I have been creating files in hundreds of music songs of my own, and uh, a lot of them with, you know, no uh, use of loops at all. But, you know, if I needed something to be done in a hurry, a loop is a real convenience. And again, I apologize for the poor sound quality of my Fender Mustang. I actually have some really good uh, audio headphones that I use to listen to this before I send it over to my iMac Pro. But, uh, you know, you can see the amount of work that I do in music and have somebody claim uh, copyright violations. Uh, I don't think so. I did contact Apple Computer, and I, I will read that statement to you. And, uh, you know, if you get back further in my work, you can see that back in the old days, I didn't use loops at all. I just created my uh, own stuff. But anyway, it is what it is. It's time to fight. Again, this is what I think is so unfair. Uh, the way content ID match works is they use a database and they compare it against your content. And that's great as long as everybody is upward of what they copyrighted and created. But let's say you have an unscrupulous organization that copyrights everything that Apple computer allows its end users to use, no matter how small. So that gets identified. So then you go to your council uh, after you've received your notification emails and you file a, a, a dispute. The trouble with the dispute is it's broken. There's no way to attach uh, screen captures, even though they say to attach screen captures. And then when you submit them, you only get one out of uh, three that are acknowledged for your uh, submitting. Also, I'm going to put up right now uh, just uh, that link that I got from Apple support for contacting legal. And uh, I did contact uh, and send an email out with my uh, description of my uh, protest, as well as my screen captures documenting uh, what I created. Thank you very much for your attention. I think it needs to get fixed. I'm concerned about uh, being trolled and somebody trying to take advantage of the robotic nature of content ID. It would have been nice if uh, I had an ability to uh, submit my files uh, that showed that I created this content. I didn't want to have to make this video, but hey, that's life. Back to work on my real life, which is editing photos. And I do love music. That's the thing that scrapes my tail feathers. It's always been a hobby, not a profession for me, but uh, sure I had the fun taken out. As usual, please comment, like, let us know what your experiences are with this. I posted this because I figure I'm probably not alone. And there are a lot of us that up here that use GarageBand or Logic and have access to Apple Loops. Uh, please uh, hit the like button. Once again, subscribe. Thank you.